Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced What's up, you guys? So, it is maintenance day. As you can see, I'm without my lashes. So, um, today, I have a few appointments. I'm going to get my lash These taken off. I've been trying to get them off myself, but they've been real stubborn. They've been on here five weeks. So, I've been putting, like, I tried, all, um, no, at first I tried coconut oil at night so I could sleep in it didn't come off maybe one came off or two try grapeseed oil the next night maybe one came off or two try castor oil maybe two came off or three it's it hasn't been doing like i thought it was gonna do castor oil is thick too i still couldn't get them off so i'm just gonna um see if i can pay her extra so she can take them off and then give me a new set i'm also getting a brazilian so, um, I was going to get a full body wax, but I really don't need a full body wax because my legs don't grow hair. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but my, I don't grow hair. Like, and it's funny because I thought, I thought it was a cultural thing, but I know some black women do grow leg, hair on their legs now, but all the ones in my family don't. And when I was in, um, in uni, I met a lady who, um, she was mung and she was telling me that people in her family didn't grow underarm hair. And I was like, that would be so awesome. But I do grow underarm hair. So I'm getting a Brazilian and I'm getting underarm. Um, I, I said wax, but it's sugaring. I'm trying sugaring for the first time instead of wax. So I'll let you guys know what that's like because I've never done the sugaring thing before. So we'll see what that's like. And I'm also doing today my nails. I'm getting um, a fill-in on my nails. And I'm getting... Um, I'm going to be doing the a wax. Well, I might see if she can sugar my brows too. Instead of waxing, sugar my brows. If that's the thing. So, yeah. So, it's maintenance day. So, I'm getting my nails. <clears throat> my nails my brows underarms and my brazilian sugared and i think if i have time i want to get my nose pierced i think both sides i don't know we'll see i'm on my way to my first appointment which is my sugaring appointment i'm getting a brazilian underarm and brow wax but not wax, sugar. I'm doing sugar for the first time. So I'm excited to see what that's going to be like. And I had a chemical peel and it burned my chest. Right here, you can see all that. It looks really bad. My daughter was like, wear a turtleneck. But it is too hot out here to be wearing a turtleneck. So I'm going to ask my esthetician what I can do to get rid of this because that looks really bad. So I'm at Faze Beauty and as you can see I just got my lashes done and now I'm getting ready to get my sugaring done. Hi. 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 Everyone, I'm Shaquan. I'm the owner of Faze Beauty here located in Charlotte, North Carolina. We specialize in body waxing, sugaring, um, mink eyelashes, as well as skincare. If you're looking for a new esthetician, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, my business name is Face Beauty. That's F-A-I-S underscore beauty on Instagram. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Maintenance Week. So... Yesterday you saw me get my lashes done. Today you'll see me get my nails done. My nails look a mess. I cut that one myself. Um, it's time to get them done. I'm gonna get them soaked off, and I'm gonna get a pink and white overlay if they'll let me just get them on top of my nails because my nails are almost the same length, just a little shorter. And then tomorrow, 
I have a chemical, my third and final chemical pill. The first one was in January, the second one was in February. Now my third and final one is in March this month. So I'll document and see how that goes. Last time I did get burned right here on my neck. You can see it's darker where the chemical got to and wasn't treated pri uh, prior to being exposed to the chemical. So, so anytime you get a chemical peel, you're not supposed to scratch. But I was scratching this area a lot. I even saw it on my one of my workout videos when I was doing the outro from me finishing my workout. I was saw me doing this right here, and as you can see, that area was greatly affected. So. When I was talking to my last check, who's also an esthetician, she told me, she was like, well, because I, I was debating on whether I should get my third one. I've already paid for them. So I was going to push it off to maybe in the winter time. Because as the hotter it gets, um, you're not supposed to sweat when you have the chemical peel. That's why they tell you not to work out for the first three days. Which I was working around it because, like, I would work out before I got my chemical peel and then, like, um, I would do like light stuff two days later, but this time I, I don't know. But um, like I was saying, my last tech, who's also an esthetician, told me to go ahead and get it and not avoid, um, not push it off to the winter time. She said, go ahead and let her do your third one and just have her bring it down to the area that's affected. Because when you get a chemical peel, it's supposed to um, get rid of like hyperpigmentation and stuff. So she said the reason why this area is like this is because I was scratching at it and it had been exposed to the chemical um, and the skin hadn't been treated prior because initially it wasn't supposed to be getting the chemical on it, but I think I might have been doing this. Uh -uh. I don't know when I was laying down or something, some kind of way the chemical touched my chest and that's what happened. So it never stung me or burned or anything. It was just kind of itchy. So, I am going to let her treat this area tomorrow at my chemical field. So, yeah. So, now I'm off to get my nails soaked off, get a new set, and I'm also going to get a pedicure. And then tomorrow, I'll go get my last and final chemical pill, get this area here treated as well, have her bring it down here. And, yeah, that'll round out my maintenance week. đang bực mình I got it on record this time. Okay. So, um, let's go to the gym to plunge of course. Okay. So, tomorrow morning, you'll do gym to plunge mm -hmm. First towelette. You'll do your hair and everything. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do your hair. Okay. Then, you'll do your hair and then you'll do
Okay. That's it for in the morning. Okay. So 30 to 60 minutes before bed, you're gonna do gentle cleanser. Mm -hmm. Your last toilet, mm -hmm. same instructions. Open it up, pour the solution, wipe. Oh, what, you talking about the solution from that's inside? In there, yeah. I'll pour it on the towel. Yeah, okay. that's in there. Okay. You throw that away. Make sure you wash your hands after you put this on. Okay. And then you're going to do moisturizer. That's okay. tomorrow night. Okay. Then from there on out, gentle cleanser, moisturizer, SPF, morning, gentle cleanser, moisturizer, night. Okay. 10 days. 10 days. Hi, you guys. So I just came out of my third pill. I wanted to show the area where she put this is the area that got burned from the last time so she put more of the chemical down here you see the darkness and the discoloration and you see you can't really tell that it's on my face but yeah this is my third and final peel for the season and I'll come back during the day so you can see how how it goes. But my face, I can tell a big difference in um, the texture of my skin from my first peel to now. And I always break out. I got this one last time and it kind of just didn't go anywhere. Um, well, I think it did and it came back. It came back quick after she did this one because I don't remember this being here yesterday. It may have been, I don't know. I have to look at my video from the gym, but. And this, this coloration over here, I'm hoping that'll peel off this time. If not, maybe at the end of the year when I do my winter peel, it'll come off. So yeah. It's Tuesday, day five. I cut a lot of skin off last night. This is what it's looking like today.